Hi all, today we will be discussing an important topic related to the reference variable in C++. For today we will be seeing whether we can actually reassign a reference variable during its lifetime. Or with the help of a code, we will try to understand what happens when we try to reassign a reference variable. Therefore, we will demonstrate it via with the help of a small code, code in C++. So before starting, let's uh, try to understand what is a reference variable. So a reference variable is a variable which actually refers to a existing variable in the stack memory. So this reference variable is, we can actually think that as an alias name or a different name to an existing variable or existing memory location, a different name assigned to a different memory location. So that's how we can think of it. For example, we have to, how to create a reference variable. Therefore, this is how we can create a reference variable. We can actually initialize a memory location in the stack with the value 10. And we can create a reference variable using the ampersand operator with the data type. And which refers to this integer variable, integer memory location. So that's how this is defined and we will try to see if if we can re if we can reassign this reference variable to some other memory location so currently this reference variable is pointing to the memory location called val therefore this particular memory location stores the value 10 so is it possible for us to reassign this reference variable to some other memory location so that's what we are going to see in the second sample code so i'll just uncomment this piece of code so in this piece of code what i'm doing is i'm trying to create two two stack variables called val1 and val2 which is of integer type and as initializing it with 10 and 20 respectively and creating a reference variable which initially points to val1 which uh, that means that this reference variable if you try to print its value it will print 10 this is the, our expectation therefore our expectation is this code will print 10 and then i try to reassign this reference variable to val2 therefore what happens here therefore what happens here we think that when we try to print this reference variable the value changes to 20. The output will be 20 in this particular scenario. So that's what our expectation is. So let's try to actually run this particular code and see what output do we get. Let's build it. And I will run it. So as you can see that the value of the reference is 10 and the value of reference is 20. So this is what we expected also at 10 and 20 but we have we also know the concept that this reference variable cannot be reassigned during its lifetime during its particular lifetime in the particular block which is which it is defined for so this particular reference variable which is defined this particular block in the main scope it has been reassigned to val2 and this reference variable will try to print it prints the value 20 for so that make us think that this particular reference variable is getting reassigned or re uh, is referencing val2 instead of val1 so that's uh, that's what output says, plainly speaking. So that is not the actual case which is happening here. So the actual, if you want to understand what is actually happening beneath, let's try to print the address of these variables that we are using. So that's what the third piece of code demonstrates. So I will just try to uh, run this particular build this particular piece of code and run it. Just try to see. So if we try to run this particular code. We can see that the uh, reference variable address is fe10, which is equal to the val1. So it is still pointing to val1. It's not that this reference variable has changed its uh, assignment to val2. The particular code gives gives that the value of the reference or the reference variable is still pointing to val1. It is not pointing to val2. Then how come that particular value of reference is changed to 20 if we do this particular statement ref equal to val2? If what happens actually is since we are doing this ref equal to val2, this actually translates to val1 equal to val2. Therefore, since the ref is pointing to val1, then we can actually imagine that val1 value is getting changed to whatever is stored in val2, which is 20. Therefore, if we try to print the value of val1 after this particular statement, then we will be able to see what actually is happening there. Build it. Yeah, let's try to run it. So as you can see, the value of val1 is changed to 20. That means that the reference variable is still pointed to val1. But when we try to reassign the reference variable, what happens is that the value of the original variable, which the reference variable was pointing to, gets changed to the new value. So that's what is happening. Therefore, a reference variable it will refer to only one variable during its lifetime. So this point. Is pretty clear. I hope it is pretty clear with this particular example. If you like this particular video, please press on the like button and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next.